Hey guys, Manon here and after this huge hiatus I am back with some new stuff um, As I cosplayed Victor from Yuri on Ice in December uh, and a lot of people ask me how I do the look especially because I color my eyelashes and etc uh, I decided to make this quick video sort of a makeup test, sort of a tutorial for people to follow um, I please want you to notice that before I start uh, my style of makeup um, is adapted to my face and to my features because I have hooded lids and etc. So uh, if you are not able to do this makeup for you, don't feel frustrated. Uh, try to adapt it to your face. Um, and uh, I don't know, just have fun and um, learn a bit about your facial structure and your features and try to find other makeup artists or other cosplayers that can uh, adapt this style to you or that you feel more comfortable with. I'm just giving you some tips for how to achieve uh, a more white look for your eyelashes and your and your eyes etc because Victor is a very different makeup from what I usually do. So even for me it's a bit hard but without further ado Let's start this and let's make it a video because I honestly need to make more videos. I am so lazy most of the time, so I'm really sorry. First of all, start by putting your wig cap. With your wig cap on, it's much easier to deal with makeup in your face because you won't have your hair all over it. First start by wrapping it around your head and then pin it with a bobby pin on top of it to keep it more safe and to prevent it from uh, sliding. Uh, usually my head is the size of most wigs, but if you feel the need to put more bobby pins in your wig cap, feel free to do so. If you're using contact lenses, put them before the look or after. I do always tell the people to um, put the contact lenses before, because while you're doing the look, some powder might get into your eyes. When you put the lenses on, it will drag the power in and it will hurt, but some people decide to put them later on. Uh, it's how you feel more comfortable with, but I think that putting your lenses before will help you more than later on, especially if you are a person with very sensitive eyes and you tend to cry a lot while, while you put your lenses, you might ruin your look. So, well, this is pretty much my advice. The first step is to correctly moisturize your skin. First of all, make sure to wash your face before starting any makeup. After that, you can apply a moisturizing cream before any makeup that you want to do. It's easier that way, the makeup will fix better and your face will be hydrated towards the day. I put a tiny nut on my fingers and apply it in circle motions around my face. That way, I also kind of massage it a bit to stimulate my skin. After moisturizing, I apply a primer, I put a tiny bit on my fingers and I sort of slap it around my face, not violently, but <laughs> um, it's to prevent uh, it to become flaky. This primer, I love it very much, but it starts to get flaky if I spread it too much, so I try to keep it only with tiny slaps uh, on my face to, for it to adjust to me uh, without flaking too much. After the primer for this makeup, I applied the foundation directly. I usually apply the concealer first, but this time I'm going to apply the foundation first because it's darker than my skin tone a tiny little bit. So I need to apply the concealer, which is lighter, after that because I don't want to be bronzed <laughs> for this look. So basically, um, I will just apply the, the foundation with a soft brush from top to bottom. Uh, and please don't forget to put foundation on your neck. If you have looks that will show your neck, it won't look uh, a different tone. Uh, apart from that, you're good to go. Remember to always clean your brushes when they're dirty or whenever you do your makeup. It's very important that you don't collect the bacteria all over your brushes, so please wash them as soon as you can, please. After the foundation, I do put my concealer on finally. Uh, I apply it under my eyes uh, to remove the dark marks. And uh, I put them on my eyebrows to make them lighter, especially in Victor, this is very important. If you have uh, bigger or bushier eyebrows, um, you will have to use concealing, farther concealing methods. 
Uh, my eyebrows are very tiny, I do them like this for cosplay, so please do not worry if you cannot achieve this eyebrow look as I do. Uh, but uh, I will make uh, concealing for eyebrows in the future videos, so you might want to check that out. Uh, also, uh, make sure to spread your concealer with the tips of your fingers or a sponge. Um, it is easier this way to reach the, um, the soft covering uh, of your foundation and your concealer. Uh, I prefer to use my fingers because I can know better what's going on, uh, but uh, a sponge is more hygienic if it's a new sponge uh, or a washed sponge, so use the method that you feel more comfortable with. After the concealer I apply a bit of pore remover to take away some of my visible pores, especially in my cheek area, my nose, my chin and my forehead. This will also help conceal uh, any spots or anything you might have that the concealer wasn't able to hide. If you have red spots on, I suggest that you use a green concealer uh, before doing anything. Luckily my skin today is not that bad so I don't need the green concealer, but there were times before that I actually needed it. So feel free to have a concealer palette with red, green and skin tones to help fulfill all of your needs. Eyeliner. First, I start by drawing the outlines of it. Victor has a very tiny wing, so I usually just add the, the lines over my lid and then a tiny wing near the corner of my eye. After that, you just have to fill inside your lines. This eyeliner is not the most complicated that I've done, but it's hard for me since I have very hooded eyes. Uh, it's hard for me to do tiny wings. So this is the first time that I actually did a tiny wing on any of my makeup looks. It's also the first time that I don't feel the corner of my eye. My eyeliner actually starts from a bit farther down the line of my lid. Since Victor doesn't have the corner filled, I had to do this this way. After that, you only need to let it dry for a bit. Also make sure to clean all the bits of liquid eyeliner or eyeliner that were left on your eyelashes because you will need them white. And if you mix the white eyeliner with the black one while it's still wet, it will create a very big mess. Victor has a very tiny lower eyeliner, so you only need to draw a tiny line from the corner of your eye towards your waterline and stop right there. You don't need any more. All the rest will be filled in white, so you have to let it clear. Don't forget to let everything dry properly. Especially for hooded lidded people like me, you will need to let everything dry or you'll just have eyeliner all over the place. After this, I pick my white eyeliner and I put it on my eyelashes like a mascara and after that I press my fingers to take away the excess you can always do this with a cotton bud but I prefer to do it with my fingers because why not? I'm getting my fingers dirty After this, I pick my eyeshadow palette in greys and whites and I apply a bit of white powder on my eyelashes to seal the eyeliner and also make them more filled and separate them better because with the eyeliner they get very stuck to each other and with the powder it helps seal and it helps separate the eyelashes for a better look. After this step, I apply the Jumbo Milk uh, from NYX on my waterline and I smear it a bit with a cotton bud and with a brush to make it softer and take away the excess.
After this I use my eyeliner, I clean its brush a bit and I draw my double lids. Since I have very hooded lids, my eyeliner ends up taking half of my lid off. So basically I always draw them so I have a double lid. Most people who don't have hooded lids or have double lids don't need to do this step. You have a wonderful double lid so please use it to your heart's content. Sadly for me, I have to do this or I look like a total lizard. Especially Victor being Russian. I think this is a very important step for hooded lid people to have a double lid. And you can't even say anything, he's got one. It's right there in the drawing. Now using a pencil in white, I cover my eyebrows with it, uh, since the concealer already helped, uh, my eyebrows were already greyish, so now it's easier to make grey eyebrows. I just applied all the shading in the end because in case you mess up, you don't destroy it. I applied in the middle of my cheeks, on my chin, on the rim of my nose and on my temples. After that, I smear it with my fingers but you can also do this with a brush or a sponge. It's what I feel more comfortable with. I prefer to do it with my fingers. It works better for me. After this, all you gotta do is put on your wig and your costume. And it's suddenly night. <laughs> Luckily, we are already at the end. Um, that's why I don't like winter. It gets very dark so fast. Now that I'm an orange man and that it's finally night time and we've been interrupted by 10,000 dogs and church bells, uh, I can finally put on my wig. Uh, I start by putting it on my head and clipping it in the back. Please make sure that the, the wig is fit to you. If you need to add bobby pins, please feel free to do so. I don't need to because this wig fits my head perfectly, thank god, because this type of wigs with lace fronts are heaven or hell and um, I'm glad it fits my head. Uh, after that I apply a bit of um, spirit gum on my hairline and I glue the wig to my face uh, so the lace front looks as natural as it can be. Then the rest of the hair goes behind my ear. Don't forget to comb your wig properly so the hair doesn't go all over the place. After this I apply a bit of pen concealer on my lips, I smudge it with my fingers and then I apply a bit of peach lipstick uh, to add that Yuri and Ice glitter to it. You know when they do those close-ups where the lips shine? That's where we're going for. Since I'm a forgetful person, we should have put the powder before the wig, but since I am forgetful as I said, well, you can put the powder now, you just have to put your fringe up and apply a bit of powder on a brush on your face to seal the makeup and take away all the shinies that can exist. If you feel that everything is not sealed yet, you can also add a sealing spray. This one lasts for 48 hours and it's really cool. Once I fell asleep with all of my makeup on and I had this spray on and next day when I woke up the makeup was all there, no smudge, nothing. This is the best 
long lasting setting spray that I found and it's cruelty free! Woo! With this, we finish our tutorial bar makeup test uh, and we're finished! Even though it starts getting dark and it's night outside and I look like an orange man. Even if so, we are done. I hope it was understandable. I hope you guys liked it and I'm very happy to be able to, to do these kind of things for you guys. It really helps me a lot also to improve, to get feedback, etc. Uh, if there's anything that you guys want to know, feel free to ask in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check my Unixo 10% um, discount down below for any lens you want to buy. The code is down there, so make sure to use it, because it helps me out a lot. Uh, what also helps me out a lot is that you subscribe to my channel, you like my videos or dislike it. I don't know, you might not like me. It happens. Um, and that you guys keep following for future videos. I try to make videos, I promise that I will try to make more videos this year. When I have the time, also vlogs, and I'm going to Barcelona now, so uh, I want to make a vlog. Uh, and I hope to make more videos, like tutorials about crossplay, crossplay makeup, crossplay binding, crossplay stuff. I want to make more videos, honestly, because I have so many things that I want to tell and I want to explain to people. Um, and I feel like I don't do that enough, and I should. So guys, if you have any question, anything, please leave a like, leave a comment, leave a dislike, leave whatever you want. Subscribe, not subscribe, hate me, do whatever you wish. I'm going to go to Narnia to skate for Russia. No, I'm not. That would be terrible. I haven't skated in more than 10 years. <laughs> Figure. But anyways, uh, I hope to take some awesome photos of this and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys keep following me and you guys give me so much support. I love you guys. Keep being awesome. Bye!